The Volkswagen E-Up is an electric version of the popular Up City car with a now longer WLTP rated range of around 159 miles. It remains a strong package, but after a glance at the asking price, you might wonder how it can justify itself on the balance sheet against a more conventional petrol powered up. That's what we're here to find out. The Volkswagen Up actually makes a great basis for an electric vehicle. The power plant sits low in the car, a lithium ion battery pack that in this revised model has almost doubled in capacity, up from 18.7 kilowatt hours to 32.3 kilowatt hours. The fact that this battery weighs 230 kilograms and is sited under the floor area has benefits and drawbacks. The plus side is that the center of gravity is good and low, uh, something you'll feel when tipping the up into a corner. The downside is that whereas an entry level petrol powered up weighs around 929 kilograms, this electrically powered version tips the scales at nearly 200 kilograms more. The sheer amount of torque available masks this fact quite well though, and the car steps off the line or in acceleration briskly, making 37 miles an hour from rest in around five seconds. As well as a standard driving mode, the E-Up has two selectable economy profiles as standard, Eco and Eco Plus. Eco cuts the vehicle's peak power to 50 kilowatts, reduces the output of the air conditioning system and modifies the throttle response. Eco Plus limits maximum power to 40 kilowatts, further modifies the throttle response and disables the air conditioning. On top of these different operating modes, the range of the E-Up can be greatly influenced by regenerative braking. Now there are five modes available, D, D1, D2, D3 and B. Externally, the E-Up can be identified by badges on the front wings and boot lid, as well as by distinctive C-shaped LED daytime running lights, this blue strip at the base of the bonnet, and 15-inch Tezel alloy wheels. But these are details. Essentially, aside from the lack of tailpipes, the five-door E-Up is hard to tell from its petrol counterparts without looking for the badging. There are no obvious giveaways to this car's all-electric status once you get behind the wheel. There's a proper ignition slot rather than a start button, and even the large analog fuel gauge looks endearingly conventional. As usual with an up, the interior feels a slight cut above other city cars in terms of quality. As for connectivity, well, as in other up models, you get this smartphone docking attachment that sits above the climate controls and can accommodate handsets with screen sizes of up to five and a half inches. If you don't want to faff around with your phone, the car itself provides this little five inch composition color touchscreen below the climate controls, which has shortcut buttons for radio, media and phone and can display the smallest reversing camera display we've ever seen. What about the rear seat? Well, given the dinky exterior dimensions, it's a lot more spacious than you might expect back here, but there are a couple of irritations. First, that you don't get proper side windows, just these glass panes that you can angle out for extra ventilation. And secondly, that there's no opportunity to take a third centrally seated passenger, as you might want to if, say, you were transporting three small children. On the plus side, the up's boxy dimensions mean that the roof doesn't taper towards the rear, so there's as much headroom in the back as there is in the front. Let's finish with a look out back. Now, because there's only this opening glass panel, you've a high lip to lift luggage over, but the boot you'll access is certainly very decently sized for a car of this class. It's 251 litre capacity figure being the same as that of the petrol variants, which means it's a tad bigger than is typical in this class. The 923 litre capacity with the seats folded is marginally down on the petrol model due in part to the higher floor height. Your WLTP rated driving range in this model is now around 159 miles if you drive it reasonably gently, but that'll drop to well under 100 miles if you pedal it hard and run it with everything switched on. What about charging? Well, a standard full charge takes uh, less than nine hours from a standard 230 volt, 2.3 kilowatt household socket. 
On top of this, all E-Ups have a DC fast charging circuit as standard using the combined charging system, CCS. This enables a flat battery to be charged to 80% in 30 minutes. This car offers everything you need in a 21st century modern shopping runabout and nothing that you don't. One thing's for sure, it won't be long before buying a small Volkswagen with an internal combustion engine will seem like a very odd thing to do.